All right, whether you're fortunate enough to be able to go up to the trout hatchery and get the salmon on the giveaway days in the October and November months, or if you're out on the lake and you're catching your own, well, now that you've got them and you've got bags full of them, what are you going to do with them? Well, today we're going to show you what we're going to do with them. We're working with the Camp Chef people with a new product called the Smoke Vault that we got from Gene Taylor Sporting Goods. It's a pretty remarkable little unit. We're going to fillet these up, we're going to brine them, we're going to use a recipe from the Colorado Culinary Institute of Smoking. And they are online, you can check recipes, they also have books for sale. But before we start cleaning them, obviously we're going to need a good cleaning board. There's two ways to do it. There's the old fashioned way, which we've got the uh, Camillus knife here, or you've got the electric one. Problem with the electric one is if it's battery powered, it's probably not going to go through all the fish, so we'll end up doing it the old fashioned way. Stay tuned everybody, we're going to fillet them out, we're going to brine them, we're going to get them smoking, we're going to have some mighty good eating. Well, now that you've spent most of the morning cleaning the fish, you're now one step closer to some mighty good smoked salmon and some good eating. Remember, as we told you, make sure that once you've got them filleted, you rinse them off real good. Make sure that that skin stays nice and moist. And what you're going to do is then lay out the salmon fillets. Now, our recipe that we got from the Colorado Culinary Institute of Smoking is a pretty simple recipe. It starts with approximately four tablespoons of fresh cilantro, three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, so make sure that you got a squeezer. I guess you can use bottled if you have to, but we want to try it with the fresh. You're going to use about a third of a cup of olive oil. You're going to use a half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter of a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Now the way their marinade calls for it is we're going to chop up the cilantro, add the juice, add the oil, the salt, and the pepper, and then they said that they would use about four fillets about an inch thick. Well, the fillets on the salmon, especially those that are coming for the hatchery right now, are a little on the skinny side. They're only about a half inch thick. So my suggestion is, instead of using four fillets, use five or six. Mix everything together, put them in the bag, and you're going to let them marinate for about the next two hours. So on that happy note, we're going to finish rinsing, we're going to finish laying things out, we're going to chop all our ingredients, everything's going to go into the refrigerator, and then we'll be ready to smoke. Alright, now that you've got all the ingredients together, and again, depends on how many fish you've got. If you want to adjust the recipe up, you can always do that. But I would suggest that you follow the recipe as a third of a cup of oil, the four uh, tablespoons of the fresh cilantro, the three tablespoons of the fresh lemon juice. And then just go up from there, double it, triple it, quadruple it, etc. We've got quite a mess of fish here that we're going to be marinating today. This is what it's going to look like when it's all done. Now the fish are ready to start going into it. Once they go in, again, skin on. You want to make sure that they're completely covered. Just put them in there. Let them start soaking up those happy juices. This is the marinade. What you're going to do then is once you're ready, you've got all your fish in it. We'll add a few more. But once it's ready to go, put a lid on it. It's going to go into the ice box for about two hours. Then it's going to hit the smoker.
Whew. Okay. Well, what we've done is we marinated the fish for a couple of hours. We made sure that we kept stirring them up and keeping the brine going around. Then we took them out and we laid them down flat on the, uh, the racks that are inside of here. Now, it's kind of important to make sure that you spray them with a Crisco or some Pam or something else to make sure that the fillets don't stick. And you always put them skin down. Now everything is loaded up. We've put our water down in the very bottom. We've got the uh, uh, chips, which are alder, that came from Gene Taylor's also. And we're now heating up. We're going to get up to about 200 degrees. We're going to cook them for 90 minutes. And I think we're going to have some mighty good eating. Make sure the temperature is set correctly and wait. The Camp Chef smoker basically is as simple as that to operate. The Camp Chef smoke vault and the smoking woods are available at Gene Taylor's Sporting Goods, along with a lot of other fine Camp Chef products. For further information about the smoke vault, go to the Camp Chef website at www.campchef.com.